Hello and welcome to your fifth scripting tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you uh, basic math and how to do it in scripts. So we all know what maths is. Well, math if you're in America and add an S on the end for maths if you're in the UK. But we all know what it is. So um, it's basically just any sum. But you can't just put like a sum like 4 plus 4. You can't just put it into a script like this. You've got to use it somehow. So we all know we can print, we can print numbers, right? So let's print the number 50. There we go. So yeah, we can print numbers, but what about printing sums? So let's go ahead and give it a, give it a try. Let's print five plus four. It should print nine. There we go. So yeah, you can, we all know we can print sums now. So this is basic math, printing sums. But we can also what we, what we can also do is set set the sums to variables if that made sense. Um, let me show you. Let's create a variable first. My variable equals five. So yeah, we know the variable is um, it's just something you can put put a value into. So it's like a storage, something to store data. Yeah. So we've got here my variable. That's the name of the variable. We've assigned it the value of five. But what about assigning the value of five plus three? So now my variable is now equal to eight. So just to prove it, print my variable. Let's close the script. Let's play and eight. It's printed. It just printed my variable, which has the value of eight. Okay, so yeah, that's what you can do with math. There's also, yeah, you can also do minus, which is obvious. Five minus three would be two. So if I print that, that would print two. But there's also the division and multiplication, which are different symbols. So for division, you just use the forward slash. Let me just do an easy division. 10 divided by two. So yeah, for division, you'd use the forward slash to divide. So that'd be 10 divided by 2 and that would print 5 there we go and for multiplication you used asterisks so go ahead and do my variable equals 10 times 2 so it's a little star star thing called asterisks and it's above the 8 so you use that to do multiplication and that would be 20 so we've set the value to 20 of my variable, and then we go ahead and print my variable, which should print 20. Okay, so it's, it's the same thing like doing this print 20. Whoops, 20. It's the same thing like doing that, except you've put the value inside a variable and then you've printed the variable. So, yeah, it's the same thing like doing that, but you're using variables instead. Now, you can also use math for different things like scripting. Say I wanted to make a variable called uh, my transparency equals uh, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25. Okay, so we've got a variable here. It's called my transparency. We've set the value to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. So my transparency should now be equal to 0 0.5. Yeah. So let's insert basic object part here we go and let's give that part a name of awesome part okay so let's go back to the script let's first we need to get the part so game dot workspace dot awesome part have I spelt that right yeah no I haven't wait yeah I have so We've got the part. Now let's go ahead and change the transparency of this part. Transparency equals. We're not going to set it to. Like we're not just going to go ahead and write a number here. We're going to set the value of the, the transparency of this part to our variable. My transparency. Transparency. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and set the transparency of this brick to this variable my transparency. So as we can see here, we've declared this variable here called my transparency 
we've given it the value of 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25, which is basically sort of 0 0.5, and we're now going to change the transparency of this brick to the value inside this variable. So what it should do is, let's anchor the brick first to make sure it doesn't fall down. What it should do is, it should set the transparency of this brick to 0 0.5 because the value of my transparency variable is 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and see what it does. Yep, it's changed the transparency of this part to 0 0.5. So that's the cool thing you can do with math. Yeah, with doing sums and variables. You can just give a variable a value and set a transparency of a part to the value in that variable. Now you can also do this with the position of the part. Let's say I wanted to, or the size, you could say I wanted to change the size of this part to to make it bigger. So let's do that. Um, so we, we all know that to change the size of a part it takes a vector 3 value so it takes x, y and z value so we need to make three values let's call one of them x value equals 10 y value equals 20 and z value equals 15 so we've got x value this is our variable x value we've set it to 10 this is our variable y value, we've given it the value of 20, then the same thing for the z value. So let's go ahead and get the part game.workspace. Awesome part. So we've got the part here. Now let's get the size property dot size and let's set it to the vector 3 vector 3 dot new vector 3. Yep. So we're going to give it we're going to give the size property a vector 3 value of x value, y value and z value. So here we've got three variables here. x value goes to the x axis, our y value goes to the y axis and z value goes to the z axis. So doing that is exactly the same as doing this but instead we've got these values here, these numbers here, instead we've put them into a variable rather than just writing them out like that. So what this should do is it should set the size of the brick to 10, um, 20 and 15 because the values in these variables is 10 for x, 20 for y, 15 for z. Okay I think I've explained that enough, let's go ahead and see if it works. Yep, it's made the part bigger. So you can go ahead and play around with these numbers as well. You can just change change that to maybe 2, change that to 1, and change that to 50. So it's going to be a really long brick. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. So yeah. So that's, that's what it does then. It just um, changes the values. So it'd be the same as doing, say, oh, I've gone, I've gone off the topic of this um, uh, tutorial now. I'm meant to be teaching math. So let's go ahead and give the x value uh, value of two plus fifty, y value value of one plus a hundred, and z value a value of fifty minus forty nine. And let's set these values. Press play and look at that. Boom! A really big brick. And another thing you can do with math is you can also let's make another variable called my variable. If we set the val value of this to 50, we can also do is we can do my variable equals um, my variable plus 10. So this is what we've done. We've made a variable. We've given it a value of 50. So what we did here is 50 equals 50 plus 10 so the new value of my variable should be 60 so let's go ahead and print my variable it should print 60 yep 60 so that's another thing you can do with math you can because we can't we can't just do my variable equals uh, 10 because that that would just set the 
value to 10 again but we want 60 so we're not just going to write 50 plus 10 we're going to we're going to get the value what's already inside my variable so what we want to do is that we want to increment it by 10 which basically means make it bigger by 10 yeah change the value by 10 my variable plus 10 so we've gone ahead and taken the variable taken it again and just added 10 to the value and we've printed it so it's set it set, it set the new value of my variable to 60 so yeah there's a lot of things you can do with math and yeah those are the things I've just shown you uh, go ahead and play around with doing math and setting different sizes and positions of bricks using math and yeah, see what you can do with it so yeah but I'll see you in the next tutorial then